Hi everyone, this is Marcia. I'm here today with that last bag of the six bag haul from Value Village, the one we picked up in October. Um, and yes, they're watches. <laughs> I hope you all are having a good day. We paid up for this bag. Um, $19.99, but half price, so $10 for the bag. And the reason I bought another bag of watches is because of this tube. So I want to get in there and see what that's all about. And it looks like some pretty watches in there, so. I am finding out I am not the only watch lover out there. <laughs> so, this bag's for you guys. Well, they wanted ten dollars or nine ninety nine for wow, <laughs> wow. Uami, oh Zuami, is what it looks like. It says there. My goodness, that is huge. Big watch, but we like the big watches, don't we? This one I thought was really, really pretty. Look at that. It is missing the green rhinestones here, all but all but one. Let me say that. Yes. All but one. And I don't know the maker, but it was made in China, but it's pretty. Very nice little dress watch. They wanted $7.99 for that one. If we can find some little green rhinestones, I'd repair that. Here's one of those silicone. Looks like a child's watch. Yellow. Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. Why does it look like it's working? Yeah, it's working. Counting down the seconds. Five ninety nine. Is this one broken? Okay. I'm thinking something's wrong with this one, or else they wouldn't have it. Yep, it's in pieces. It's in pieces. Click it. Oh, Lego. No, it's not clicking. Okay, well, I'll have to look into this one a little bit. But it's a Lego watch. It's interesting. All right. This is a pretty watch. I don't know. It looks like it says QSQ. Oh, Q and Q. I like the square. I like the emerald cut in stone, so I guess I like the squared off face. Just me. That one's nice, too. I swear I thought that was working. That is, the band's a little big, but I like the, um, the face. Let's do a couple more before we get to that. Oh, it's watch me. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Here's, again, a no name. It's probably made in China. Uh, yeah, but get my hands out of the way. You all can see it. Let's open this. It says, watch me. It's not working. Okay, well, that's what it is. Okay, 
I don't see anything other than this. So I guess we'd have to put a battery in it to find out if it's working. I just like the tube. <laughs> just, that was something different for me. So, I mean, it's just probably been out there. You know, everybody's probably shouting, yeah, they've been around. <laughs> I haven't seen one before. Um, here's just a watch band. It looks like it's not been worn. So, got that. And here's another silicone. A silicone band. And Watchminder 3. Not familiar with that one. Ooh, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, this is a hammered gold tone blingy watch. <laughs> I think it says Figaro Couture. Nothing is missing. Very nice. I like it. Okay, well, I like it. Here is another hinged similar persona it's a persona brand very nice very nice fit needs a battery well, this one's pretty it's got a name Avon I did not know Avon put out watches. Really? It's a two tone. It doesn't say anything about a battery. I don't know if it's a quartz watch or not. Stainless steel china. I'm going to have to look into that one. All right. Well, Unless it's, no, I can't imagine it would be a different Avon than the Avon fragrance, makeup, you know, all of that. And here's another one of those ones I can't pronounce. It's either Vivani or Vivani. <laughs> if anybody knows. But a nice snug fit. I like that too. I definitely have two new watches. <laughs> And this one, this one's nice. Okay, I've definitely gotten my money's worth. I gotta see what this says. I bean or I beam. I beam insight. Optical timepiece. Oh my goodness. It popped up. So that's, it's a magnifier. The, the, the top part is a magnifier. I guess it's made for people that need a little extra assist reading things. That is most interesting. Very interesting. I'll have to look into that company. All right. This is pretty, small, but pretty. Let's see who makes this one. Carriage, which is Timex, I believe. Yes, Carriage by Timex. And I do like Timex watches. I like watches. I don't care who makes them. If they're pretty, I like them. Even better if they keep time. <laughs> Alrighty, well. And again, got the square face. Wow. It's missing a back. 
got a battery in it, but man, look at that bling. And who makes it? Sheffield. And it's working. Second hand is moving around. And I think I see the back. I sure do. Look at this. I wonder why that didn't stay put. There we go. All better. <laughs> Here's another Timex. That's broken, but other than that, the watch looks like it's in good shape. Wow. This is gray. <laughs> That's Geneva. It's not working, but it's gray. I like that. That's mine. And here we have a pink... It's a pink faced. They want it $7.99. Made in China. By whom? Don't know. It just says quartz. Okay. Band needs to go, but you know, we can find another band for that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Geneva. Here's a woven band. Looks like somebody made this. Looks like it, but nice big face on that one. Well, this one is hinged, but look. And it has an orange face. PH. I don't know PH. Paris Hilton. Does she go by the initials just PH? That is interesting. And it's oval. It has a very nice feel on the wrist. Um, I don't do much with the color orange, but, you know, I can see what I can match it up with. Well, this is nice. It's a Timex. That's a nice watch. Band is a little worn, but still not bad. Looks like a leather band. Yep. Genuine leather band. So, nice. Oh my goodness. This one. This is different. Oh, this is New York and Company. It's missing some rhinestones, but it's different. Look out. It's all the uh, big numbers on the bottom, but just slashes, dashes, whatever. <laughs> just, just marks on the top, no numbers. It's, I think this is plastic. It reminded me of a patent leather. Interesting. Oh, this one's interesting also. Oh, got that like peridot green, that lime green. It's a quartz watch. I don't see a name. But it's made in China. It's interesting. Okay. Got that one. Did we go through this one? No, I don't think so. 
I pulled two out. I'm getting... Let me get some of these off to the side. I'm getting them mixed up. This is... Also looks like a leather band. It's heavy. Let me see who makes this. Carriage. Indigo. Indiglo. So that's Timex. Nice. I like that. What? <laughs> okay. I'm an expert on the snow. Uh, it's a Disney. AccuTime Watch Company. Um, so, oh! Did you all see that? <laughs> well, that is not the correct time, but that is very, very interesting. Huh. And just, oh, this is pretty. Band's a little worn, but... It's cute. Guess. It's a guess watched. Watch. Anyway, this is pretty. And it just says quartz. No name. And again, this is looks like a patent leather band, but I don't think it's leather, so it's a plastic band. Did you all see that? I'm moving around so fast. I'm sorry. Caceres or Casares, however you pronounce that. And the last one. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like that. It's an Avon. Another Avon. Oh my goodness. So probably the faux marcasite. I did not know Avon made watches. Why didn't I know that? <laughs> or I didn't remember it. I'm not sure I like the black band. I think it needs to be fancied up with a silver band or a marcasite band but still very i guess it's kind of like art deco very nice Alrighty, well we're going to end on that one end on avon we'll be back with more jewelry i have more bags from value village so until then y'all take care bye